Now that all the buzz around Wimbledon is over, everyone's talking about the 2022 Commonwealth Games that are right around the corner. Lots of athletes have been making the headlines, so it didn't come as a surprise when we heard another big news about a para-athlete. In this video, we'll be telling you about how Indy Cooper is bound for the 2022 Commonwealth Games. First off, Indy Cooper was inspired by another athlete. Indiana Cooper is making her mark in the world of para-athletics at just 16 years of age. If that isn't impressive, then we don't know what is. Turns out Indy's inspiration struck when she watched the gold medalist Isis Holt win three medals at the 2016 Rio Paralympics. According to Indy, she recalls looking at Holt's win and telling herself, that's what I want to do. And the rest has been history. Not only is Indy an indigenous woman, but she also defied all odds by winning the Kurt Fernley Scholarship. The first time most of us heard about Indy was when she beat the T38 800 meter age record at the NSW All Schools Carnival back in December of 2020. Then she went ahead and impressed everyone once again at the Australian Athletics Championship in April of 2021 by bagging four gold medals and breaking two national records. If it sounds like Indy spends a lot of time at the gym, then we're willing to confirm that she definitely does. She has about six running sessions and five intense gym sessions every week, and that's how she's gotten where she is now. Now, Indy's going to the Commonwealth Games. Indy has always been a big dreamer. She isn't afraid to keep her hopes up because that's what motivates her to do better every time. This year, she's making her debut at the Commonwealth Games in Birmingham, and of course, she's taking her big dreams packed in that suitcase with her. Indy is clearly super excited to be at the Commonwealth Games, and we mean, who wouldn't? But her biggest goal is to break the record set by the Australian five-time Paralympic gold medalist Lisa McIntosh. We should probably mention that nobody has been able to break that record since 2006, but we've got high hopes for Indy this year. The goal is to complete the run in less than 14.38 seconds, and we can't wait to see if Indy can live up to the challenge. But there's more. Indy's the youngest member on the squad. Yep, you heard that right. Indy is all set to travel to England as the youngest member on the Australian athletics squad. Despite being the youngest, Indy is thrilled to be racing along alongside big athletics like Rihanna and Clark and Ella Party at the T38 100 meter event. Even though she kept it a secret, Indy has known about her Commonwealth Games selection for quite some time now. She admitted that it was one of the hardest secrets to keep and when she finally got the green light, she couldn't wait to announce it to the world. In her statement, she said that she found out about the selection about two weeks ago, but was asked to keep it confidential until today. Obviously, the 16 year old was over the moon with her selection, explaining she had been through a roller coaster of emotions since being named in the Australian team. And yes, there were many tears involved. Ever since she was named in the Australian team, Indy went through a whole roller coaster of emotions. She was excited, but she even shed a few tears. Don't worry, she said they were just happy tears. Indy also said that she can't wait to represent Australia for the first time while competing at an international event for the first time. That's two huge achievements at once. Now that had to be overwhelming for our little athlete. Indy's big race is scheduled for 3rd of August, so, so she said she's going to continue training in Canberra before she takes her flight to England soon. She had been training three days a week for a while now, and she's all set to leave for the big games on 14th of July. Even though Indy admitted that her race is really close, she said that it's a good thing because it helps her focus. She already knows that she'd be competing with seven other athletes, so it's a make it or break it situation. Not to forget, Indy's training to beat a world record. Indy is heading into the Commonwealth Games with her personal best time of 14.2 seconds for the 100 meter sprint. The 16 year old has been training long and hard to give the race her best and hopefully break the 14 second record. While talking about her big goals and ambitions, Indy didn't forget to remember her community and family who helped her get to the Birmingham Commonwealth Games. She said she's proud to be from the incredibly supportive community of Gundagai, and that she can't wait to make her town and country proud at the Games. Next up, let's tell you more about that scholarship we mentioned. Yes, we're talking about the Kurt Fernley Scholarship. Last year, Indy was super excited to be one of the four recipients of the Kurt Fernley Scholarship for the 2021-2022 financial year. And if we're being honest, then that scholarship paved her way to make her big debut at the Commonwealth Games this year. To make things a little clear, allow us to explain what this scholarship is all about. Technically, it's a joint venture between the Commonwealth Games Australia and the Carbine Club of NSW. It's especially designed to support the best parasport rising talent in the country, especially because they received less support from other places. When Indy got the scholarship, it meant that she could have access to $3,750 of financial support and NSWIS program support, including all their awesome facilities, assistance with performance, and even mentorship from Kurt Fernley himself. When she watched the Tokyo Paralympics, Indy knew that her biggest goal was to represent her country at the Commonwealth Games. She was super motivated and put her best efforts into making it to the team. In one statement, Indy said that she didn't think she would be chosen for the scholarship last year. When she found out that she was getting it, she thought she was really special and had to make the most out of it. And now let's head to some other news. First up, Birmingham 2022 is set to host the biggest female and parasport program. A few days ago, the Commonwealth Games Federation gave us the news that we've been waiting to hear for years now. At last, the Birmingham 2022 Commonwealth Games will have the largest ever female and parasport competitions in all of Commonwealth history. Now that's the kind of revolution that we love to see. This exciting 
exciting announcement came soon after the 71 Commonwealth Games Association voted to add three new sports to the existing game schedule. Since the vote was accepted by the required majority, we're getting ourselves some highly enjoyable female and para sports screen time. In fact, the Birmingham 2022 Games are featuring two more women's medals event than men. This is the first time in history that a major sport event has more women's events. So yes, we're all experiencing history being made right here. Next up, let's tell you about the new games this year. We're excited to see 3x3 Basketball make its Commonwealth Games debut this year. Even though the 5x5 version of this fast-paced game was included in Melbourne 2008 and Gold Coast 2018, we've never seen the 3x3 version before. This year, eight Commonwealth nations will be taking part in this new sporting event. That includes the host nation, the top nation in the FIBA 3x3 rankings from each of the six Commonwealth regions, and the highest-ranked nation that hasn't already qualified. And that's not all. We're even getting to welcome women's T20 cricket at the Commonwealth Games this year. Not only is this the first time we'll be seeing T20 cricket, but it's also a debut for women's cricket. Talk about some big changes. Eight teams have qualified to T20 cricket, including England as the host and the top six teams ranked as of April 1st, 2021. The last place was given to Sri Lanka after they won the qualifier tournament. And lastly, let's talk about the new para sports events. When we say Commonwealth Games are going to be huge this year, trust us, we mean it. For the first time at the Commonwealth Games, we're going to see 3x3 wheelchair basketball. This is going to be an event for both men and women, with six teams taking part in each event. We're also super excited for the para table tennis event that has been added to the Birmingham 2022 Games. There's a total of 32 players who qualified to participate, including 16 men and 16 women. We can't wait to see all the incredibly exciting sporting events at the Commonwealth Games this year. Don't forget, the games are kicking off on July 28th, so stay tuned. And that's a wrap on this video. What do you think about Indy making it to the Commonwealth Games? Do you think she can beat the world record? Let us know in the comments below. Oh, and before you click on another video, don't forget to give this one a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more awesome content like this. See you on the other side.